Mr. President, is Mr. President James Woods. Greetings, Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, and my fellow Americans. <laughs> you see, I started that phrase. I know. I may look like President Barack Obama's younger, more handsome brother, <laughs> but I am George Washington. The one white hair, never tell a lie guy? Yeah, that's me. You see, I was president back in the 80s and the 90s. Not the 1980s, but the 1780s. <laughs> the good old days. Box with facts, box moves, actual fox hunt. And C-SPAN is what happened when you threw up after saying it all. <laughs> and now I'm back to run for president again. I know, a dead guy running for president, but these other jokers don't look too far from me. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. Someone needs to check their posts ASAP. <laughs> but back to me. I'm the original baby kissing commander in chief. The white haired head of state hero that saved this crazy country before we even had the internet. <laughs> That's right, there was no text message or emails to become a threat to national security. If we wanted to send a message, we would just call old Paul Revere. <laughs> and the only time he would come threat to national security when he gets too drunk and fall off his horse. <laughs> but even then, he would ride for days. No HMO, no Medicare, no PPO, just oh, 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 <laughs> as he kept riding along. Because back then, our health care was a rag to tie around your wounds and my wife Martha's chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I swear if you served half a bowl of chicken noodle soup these days, people would get up off their lazy butts, stop watching the latest celebrity who cares show, and we all can go chop down cherry trees to get this country strong. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. I am an environmentalist. I was green before everybody. In fact, I even have my dentures made out of wood. Because I believe in recycling. I believe in putting trees first. I put trees first breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and not only were my teeth born to my mouth, but my parents were born to this land. So of course I'm for immigration. The more the merrier. That just means better, more delicious foods. Have you guys tried traditional British food? Don't get me wrong, I love my fish and chips. But there is nothing more American than a Taco Bell Pizza Hut combo restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I love burritos. I love the name baby. I love America. And with so many delicious foods to buy, of course I'm about economics. I mean, I am that guy with the green piece of paper in your wallet next to the football picture of your son, and you're welcome for that little invention. Right, so there we were. Back in the 1700s, I'm bored out of my mind. I'm walking, I'm gonna spot this old pig skin. I decide to pick it up and give it to my boy, John Adams. I let it hang in the air for a little bit. As soon as he catches it, bang! Tackle the crap out <laughs> And there we have it, America's favorite sport, football. Sorry about the Raiders. <laughs> but I will stimulate this economy by putting more of my face in your wallets. You guys will be benefiting from the original selfie. <laughs> and when it comes to political parties in this country, I have no time for elephants and donkeys. That's all I ask in years for me. <laughs> this country needs more action, not talk. And I will take all 13 of these colonies and create a global empire based on bargain basement prices with rollbacks and special items. <laughs> Lots of options for cable TV. And even get some options you want to marry. One dollar hamburgers and a hundred dollar chains. I want bigger gun laws for bigger gun cycles. More freedom of speech for everyone except for TMZ. I show was just none. And I will ensure that America's on top in education, manufacturing, technology, and hip hop. That's right. I want to bring Lil Wayne into my catalog and have him wrap circles around Congress until they sign any bill I want just to get him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so important to vote. And I always remember to vote for me. I've always been a guy. And I always will be a guy. Remember
remember that. Oh, wait. That's right. There's 50 states now. <laughs> Paul Revere is going to need a mightier, faster speed. Or we can be really patriotic and get him a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> so I will bring this country back to its glory days for bootstrap pulling champions who lead the charge into the new era like I led our loyal troops across the freezing Delaware River late that Christmas night. We were half dead, half frozen, bundled up and clean to life. Took everything in me to save our troops that night. I promised them land, freedom, glory, and Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> a man would do anything for a caramel mocha latte. <laughs> so remember, folks, in 2016, when you're voting for America's new leader, think of the old, the OGGW, <laughs> George Washington. Not that rich guy. But me. The only president you can remember on a history test, just because I was the first one, Mr. Gotta Build Himself. God bless America. Dun 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 d